एवरीवन हु विजिटेड अस एट कॉप 28 वाज ऑल स्ट्रक लिटरली एक रिपीटेटिव था पाकिस्तान यहां पे आ गए एंड वी फेल्ट रियली प्राउड इन रिप्रेजेंटिंग आवर कंट्री एंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंटली आवर यूनिवर्सिटी एट अ सच ग्लोबल स्केल I was just scrolling through my emails to check on the assignments and deadlines. So I saw congratulations. I was like, "Kya hi ho sakta hai?" And when I opened the email, I was just, "Okay, we have just got accepted to into the program that we were once thinking we cannot get into." So it was very wholesome experience, and it was just beyond words. I would really like to highlight our students Arif and Imra who were able to present their research in COP28. It's a massive achievement. for undergrad students to have representation and acceptance at a international conference of this caliber our mandate is to support projects that can create positive impact to people and the planet and we were very pleased to feature in telecrop pk uh, and happy to be part of their journey office of uh, career services uh, emailed us about an opportunity called paradise for humanity we didn't know it about back then so we researched into it and we found that this track is linked with the cop 28 they were selecting only 100 projects from 170 plus countries so we were quite intimidated by it the first step that we did was to formalize the proposal and submit into the summer techie research program and then this whole idea and project kick started the project idea stems from the very need that in pakistan most of the farmers uh, traditional practices for farming which often leads to inefficient resource allocation we aim to bring forward a technology that is smart agricultural sustainable technology which essentially takes vital parameters from the soil and the weather data and integrates that over to one place and sends it over the cloud we are also using the data for running ai and machine learning algorithms to do the predictive analytics for example what's a certain nutrient content of soil at a particular time and what can be the optimized or optimal parameters of the soil so that the farmer can grow more yield of the crops upon some research uh, we found that approximately 52% of the farmers which falls in the category of small and medium scale deals with these kinds of problems so we had some interviews one of the farmer was talking about that how they expect a large amount of rainfall in the january season because they were actually uh, you know sowing the wheat crop but they couldn't had this amount of rainfall in the january so that's why they were saying that this is like a disaster for us because we are expecting yield now 30% less found out that there is a technological gap in the market and there is no product which can actually empower these small scale farmers to make informed decisions this is where our technologies plays a vital part in fulfilling their niche it's revolutionizing the agriculture domain and uh, it's giving very very useful insights that were not available before especially in pakistan uh, especially in remote areas it's enabling the farmers it's enabling the policy makers it's enabling the people around the agriculture we met a lot of potential investors who were attracted towards our project and they were very attracted to the amount of uh, impact that it can cause the most memorable moment i could think of in the cop 28 was like when we were in the presence of the royalty and uh, since uh, dubai is a uh, like a desert country and they themselves are quite infertile but they are trying to grow their farming industry so the they were quite interested in our project so being amongst very few people as a undergraduate research project over there it was very exhilarating experience i was seeing people from mit from stanford from oxford and they are very delighted at the project from pakistan has come at such a massive scale and i'm like networking with them talking with them it's a once in a lifetime experience at habib we believe in creating thought leaders who would be sought after by world's top institutions and who can think big and lead very purposeful lives so i would personally like to thank gspp because of the undergraduate research skills that it instilled in me because i believe that's a profound skill that has enabled me to apply to very different programs that can help me enable my skills into a better version of my own self graduate school curation program is specifically uh, trying to curate students portfolios to maximize graduate school success the real meaning in this work is by having students build a practical ability to do critical thinking to navigate uncertainty to solve problems that a lot of times are just right in front of us but nobody is even thinking about it uh, gscp basically allows students the opportunity 
to pursue scholarships and research with their uh, mentors. So, so that's the most important component of GSCP. But GSCP also facilitates with test preparation, funding support for students for uh, graduate applications. Continuing from the GSCP, we have taken this project into our capstone. So we are finalizing our prototype and our potential collaborators are Saparco. We would be then deploying the whole project over on their field and then collecting data and then using the AI machine learning algorithm to do the predictive analytics. The project's use of technology combined with the insights from its future users is a good example of an innovation process that is aware of its environment. We think that tangible outcomes can only be achieved by working with the concerned communities and people, and the project targets exactly that. Currently, uh, farmers do not have any such product in the market, and uh, we are on the way to uh, install our very first into the synth fields. Although we are living in this world, uh, but the future generations also have a stake in it. So we should develop those products that are sustainable and green. And that is uh, what our project hopes to achieve in the future.